So asset management, an asset is anything an organization currently or in the future derives value from. Uh, that could be a whole bunch of different things. It could be people, it could be uh, finances, it could be intellectual property, or it could be uh, physical assets. So in the context of um, facility management, we're talking primarily about physical assets. So um, every organization hopefully has a strategy. With the physical assets, uh, what um, is intended with uh, asset management is to take that organizational strategy and determine intentionally uh, how to maximize and derive the most value out of those physical assets over the entire life cycle of, uh, of those assets, so cradle to grave. So um, physical assets, uh, what are we talking about in a building or in the built environment? We're talking about systems. We're talking about HVAC, we're talking about the building envelope, we're talking about uh, vertical transportation, we're talking about power distribution, and, and really how do all those systems interact with one another, and hopefully how do we, through an intentional process, derive maximum value for the, of those and for the parent organization to help them achieve their strategy. Depending on the level of what an FM is in their organization, they will certainly have a piece of the pie, a piece of asset management, if not the entire pie, if you will. I think it's also important for other individuals within organizations to be knowledgeable about FM and asset management. So if you step back and you look at what we do as facility managers, uh, we're really um, responsible for a few different functional areas. So you have engineering, you have finance, you have procurement, uh, and even to a certain degree, you have HR. So all those different groups that I mentioned uh, within an organization may not be part of FM, yet they're part of the process and the interactions that take place on a daily basis within a facility. So I think it's important for facility managers, again, to understand all the different uh, parts of asset management. So specifically in the module, you have uh, project management, strategic planning, capital planning, and construction. So it really starts with strategic planning. So both, again, for the parent organization, but the more, more so from an FM perspective, how does your facilities strategy tie into that of the parent organization? After that, you need to determine how to uh, program your capital for the physical assets out in future years. And then really the next step gets into uh, construction and project management, which are, are obviously both linked together. The last piece uh, actually cuts into some of the other modules of uh, the Pro-FM, so you really get into operations and maintenance risk management. That is all part of the life cycle uh, that an asset will experience. And again, in order to manage those effectively, not only do you need to hit on the strategic planning, capital planning, construction and project management, but then uh, the majority of that asset's life cycle is gonna be spent in operations and maintenance. So you need to make sure that those are done correctly as well. So one example, you know, tile is really, really beautiful in restrooms. However, for those of you that have had the pleasure of cleaning grout lines and, and tile at your house, it can become very, very tedious and very time consuming. The same is the case in a commercial office building or in a retail store or an airport. So an example, if you think through all the money that you will spend and all the cleaners that you need to use the different chemicals to, to keep that grout and that tile uh, the way it needs to look, what's much more um, popular uh, when you consider the technology that's out there is high performance surfaces. So as an example, up front, you realize the use of the restroom, how much it's gonna need uh, attention or, or service uh, versus the, the increased cost for a high performance surface, something like Triazo up front, and how much easier it is to clean, how much chemicals you need to use. Well, even though that original cost up front may be higher, it pays itself back time and time over. So that's an example of how um, asset management, you're really looking at the whole life cycle of something simple as a, as a surface in, in a restroom can really pay dividends. So now that you learned a little bit about asset management and what's included in the Pro-FM, I'd encourage you to dig in more because as technology continues to advance, uh, when you have the internet of things and systems that are becoming more complex by the day and sophisticated, those systems need to work together. And it's even more important to be sure that you understand life cycle management and how those systems interact with one another and they interact with the, the tenants of the uh, building while inevitably delivering that uh, value to the parent organization.